Welcome back to Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, Massachusetts, where we are at the round of eight in this Pro Series Single Elimination Tournament. The eight bowlers involved in this round are going to be Mark Smith, Dave Barber, Brandon Marks, and Brian Kroll. And they will eventually be joined by Jim Ayotte, Chris Bover, Brian Purdy, and Sean Baker as we uh, get through this elimination round and gradually trim down the field. The way it works in this tournament is a little bit different from a, a knockout tournament that might be a little bit more familiar to you. After they made the cut to th the top 32 bowlers, everybody bowls a string and the top, si uh, the top uh, 16 scores move on to the round of 16 and then in that round the Everybody again bowls a string, and the top eight move on to the round of eight, which is where we are now. So in other words, instead of bowling head-to-head -head against another bowler in match play, the bowlers are all bowling against the field, and the goal is just to finish in the top half of the field and move on to the next round. This format tends to reward a, uh, a bowler that bowls consistently all day because uh, it takes some of the, uh, maybe takes a little bit of the element of, of chance uh, and reduces that. And there's a strike by Dave Barber. Let's take a look at this, this uh, strike by Dave Barber. Solid one, two, high flush pocket. Anyway, I started to say that in this format, you're not in danger of being eliminated by sort of a fluky big score by a, a lower ranked bowler as you might be in a in a head-to-head -head match play but what happens is that you have to bowl consistently because one you know one bad game will send you home because if you're not in the top half of the field in each round then uh, then you're eliminated so it's a slightly different format from the the standard singles knockout round and I'm sure it'll produce a good winner. Anyway, you've got Mark Smith on lane three, Dave Barber on lane four, Brandon Marks on lane five, and Brian Kroll on lane six. And Brian Kroll is off to a fast start, as you can see. They're in the third box. Brian Kroll just about to start the fourth box. He's had three spares in a row. And he fills that spare with a seven. So he is really off to a great start. Brandon Marks with an eight drop, leaving a seven ten, but with some wood that looks pretty promising. Over on lane four, Dave Barber with an eight drop as well, leaving a four seven. Brian Kroll with with his fourth consecutive spare. And there Brandon Marks makes short work of that 7-10. Let's take another look at uh, how he does it. Really nice piece of wood and he hits just about on the red line. Takes out the spare pretty cleanly. Dave Barber with a spare over on lane four. Ryan Kroll has got another nine drop. He's had four nine drops in five boxes. You can hear a lot of encouragement from John Nugent in the background, fellow competitor in the uh, Thursday Night League. So Ryan is pretty much checking out on the field in this, this uh, string. He's got five spares in a row. And he's got 84 through five with uh, with a ball still to throw when he gets back up there. So now you see Jim Ayotte on lane three, Chris Bover on lane four, Brian Purdy on lane five, and Sean Baker on lane six. Chris Bover was the leading qualifier in this tournament with a 705. And then he uh, obviously successfully negotiated the 
rounds of 32 and 16 to advance here to the round of eight. And there is a spare on that five drop. He's, uh, look at how he runs down that one, two, four, seven, nine. Great shot right there by Chris Bover. Jim Ayotte with a nice bid to try and come back from, uh, he had a two drop, just taking out the 6-9 on his first ball, but he almost made that for a spare. Sean Baker with 10, Jim Ayotte with 10, and Brian Purdy remain with a nine box. Chris Bovair just three. So we have, I think we have three states represented here. Sean Baker from Massachusetts, Chris Bovair, and Jim Ayotte, both from Maine, as we look at this strike by Brian Purdy. Started to say uh, Jim Ayotte and Chris Bovair are from New Hampshire, and uh, Brian Purdy's from Maine. Sean Baker with a spare. And I think you can see how this format does tend to reward the, consist the, the most consistent bowlers. Because these guys that you see in this round are, they're pretty much all veterans of the tournament circuit. You really don't see anybody that's, uh, that's kind of a newcomer or one of the less frequently seen faces, somebody that might just have a get hot in the qualifying round and then have a good match or two. These guys are, are all veterans who week in and week out tend to turn in solid performances in uh, league and tournament play. Chris Bovair with a nice bid on that four drop and that one, two, four, six, eight, ten, and got everything but the ten. And he'll take a ten box. So let's see, Mark Smith had fifty-four with a ball through five. Dave Barber also fifty-four with a ball. Uh, as I mentioned, Brian Crawl with 84 and a ball, and Brandon Marks has a 70 half. So uh, Kroll and Marks would be in the driver's seat at this point. Chris Bovair working on that four horsemen left. Goes by the head pin and just takes out the two, four, seven. Jim Ayotte has a four horsemen right. And he tries to run it down, but doesn't quite carry the 10 pin. Meanwhile, Sean Baker with a seven drop and a six, seven, 10 split. And Brian Purdy with a nine drop and a 10 pin. And a bunch of wood. See if Sean Baker can do something with this split. And he goes way right trying to clip that wood and send the six over into the seven. Doesn't quite go. Meanwhile, Brian Purdy caught a little bit of a break there. It looked like the wood was gonna rob him, but uh, he ended up converting the spare. So as uh, Jim Ayotte and Chris Bover finish up, you can see the the uh, the scores through the first half of this match. Uh, Brian Kroll and, and uh, Brandon Marks are in pretty good shape there. And Sean Baker. But the scores are all sort of bunched up towards the uh, lower half of the field from Brian Purdy on down. It's just pretty much anybody's game as to who is going to have a chance of being in the top half of this field. 
So we will be back with the second half of this match shortly. <laughs> 